Hi everyone, this is Laura and welcome to my channel. I have a haul to share with you guys. I have some Black Friday stuff that's coming in. I also have um, a few announcements and some share and a lot of chit chat. Lots of chit chat going on. I am so happy to um, be crafting again and just be full of happy, happy, joy, joy, and just communicating with my friends again and just being in the whole community. Um, as you guys know, I had to take a little health break for two months and I'm not going to say that I'm totally, you know, looking back on it now. Of course, I know now that it was the best thing for me and I so truly needed it. And I really did. I didn't realize how bad... Um, things really, really were for me, how badly I was pushing myself. But that being said, I am just like so happy to be back now. And I'm so happy for the break. And I just feel refreshed and revived. And I'm going to share a quick story with you guys. I felt so refreshed and so revived that I just got into a really, oh, I want to do this and I want to do this and I want to do this and I'm going to make this card. And guys, for me, that's something because, um, for those of you who are especially new to my channel, it can be very challenging for me to craft sometimes, um, especially with my hands the way they are. Like, no kidding, sometimes I'm just like this. Uh, I can't move. I'm just like, what, what, what? Just like that. Um, and I do make fun of myself a lot because it's one of the ways that I deal with things sometimes. But truly, I mean, this is like what it's like. I, I just become like Mr. Crab Claws, and, you know. So it has gotten to the point where sometimes I've even had to um, wait for my daughters. Thank God for my kids, I tell you. Um, they've had to like comb my hair and help me out dressing and stuff. I mean, that's how bad it can get for me. Anyways, none of that junky bad stuff. I'm just so happy that I am crafting and making my cards and... I feel so bad for my husband, and I'll get to him too in a second. Anyways, the story was, I started crafting like a maniac, and I ran out of ATG tape, <laughs> which for me was like, hold it, stop the presses, complete haul with the crafting. I have to tell you guys something. In the 10 years that I have been paper crafting, I think I ran out of ATG tape once since I've had my ATG gun. Now I haven't had it for 10 years because I only got my ATG gun, what? I think maybe five or six years ago. But in the five years I have owned it, I think I ran, of, ran out of tape one time. And so I think what happened is right before I got sick, I had placed, I had put a whole bunch of stuff in a cart in Joanne's because um, I do a lot of online shopping because I cannot get to the scrapbooking stores. Um, and my husband works six days a week and he only gets one day to rest. And it's not too often because the stores are so far away. It's not so often that we get to go out. And he hates going to the craft scrapbooking store. I mean, hates it, guys. Hates it with such a passion. <laughs> it's like unreal how badly he hates it that it's actually comical and it's a joke and it's it's the funniest thing to see um but I can certainly understand his hate for it because I don't go shopping with my husband I hate shopping with my husband I send him shopping by himself <laughs> I just don't like it so I understand and he's only like that with the scrapbooking stores because he he will go with me everywhere else so anyways um I ran out of ATG tape and when I do place an order with Joann's, I mean, thank God for these online stores because without them, where would I be? Someone like me. But the ATG tape sometimes takes, it takes Joann's, I'm still waiting on an order that I placed November 24th. And look at today's date. This is what I'm saying. If I place an order for ATG tape today, <clears throat> the chances are that I'll probably get it in two weeks because it does say seven to 10 business days. Um, for delivery and they don't count weekends. So it'll be about two weeks, um, which will be the end of the card making uh, Christmas season. If you see what I, where I'm going with this. And I was 
really doing well this year. I didn't want to get caught like last year. Thank goodness for Facebook and my friends on Facebook. Thank you, Miss Gina Ortiz, who's Scrappinology. And thank you, Tammy, who's TJ for Kids. And thank you, Adriana Rodriguez. All you wonderful ladies, especially you, Miss Gina and Miss Tammy. Oh my gosh, without you girls, I don't know where would I be right now. I did manage to find um, a person who is selling the tape. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to take a little sip of tea here. I'm talking so much, I ran my throat dry. Yes, yeah, so I was able to finally place an order for the ATD tape, and hopefully it'll be here in a few days, and that mojo will still be pumping. <laughs> Let's hope. Anyway, I got my fingers crossed. Anyways, so I, now to... My hubby part. I feel so bad for hubby because I did place a few online orders um, during the Black Friday week. Um, I didn't actually do it on Black Friday because I found out from certain vendors and stores that the same sales that they were going to have on Black Friday, they were having throughout the week. So as to not wait till Black Friday and for certain things to run out like they always do with me, and then I have to wait two months before they restock. I decided to place my orders in the Monday before Thanksgiving. And I think Wednesday as well. Anyways, my order came in and I told my husband, I did a little white fib. <laughs> okay, I did a big white fib. Um, I told hubby that I had to place an order for certain items because of the Black Friday sales they were offering free shipping, when in reality, scrapbookpal.com always has free shipping on all orders over $25 or more. And if you have been following me on my channel, you will know that unless I go to Jamie's shop, which is not too shabby shop, unless I go to her, I buy all my lawn fawn stamps through these guys and through Jamie's shop. I use, I usually do it through both. Um, I'm always for the free shipping. And can I tell you that it wasn't until I saw Becky's channel. <clears throat> Hi, Becky. Another one of my dear sweetie pies. I didn't know the scrapbookpal.com when you place an order with them, they always have a little free gift. Who knew this? I didn't and I've been using them forever. Matter of fact, I'm the one that told Becky about this place. And she, see, and this is what I love about this scrapbooking community. We always learn from each other. She learned about this place from me. And I learned about the free gifts from her. Which only proves one thing, Becky. You are much more observant than I am. <laughs> and you read a lot more than I do. Anyways, this was the free gift that they sent. And I love it. It is adorable. And it's a little ornament stamp. And this is by American Crafts, I believe. Yep, American Crafts. And they sent some really pretty ones. Oh, and I received one right before. Um, I don't remember when I received this one. There was only two other times. Oh, I remember this one was when I ordered the bracket. I'll show you that one in a minute. So for this order, I finally ordered, and the reason I'm showing this like this is because I already started playing with the stuff yesterday. This came in the mail yesterday, and I started playing with it last night. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I am still suffering a tickle in my throat or something, but this stuff, guys, the Lawn Fawn... Well, the Lawn Fundamentals Pigment Ink, the Yeti White, OMG. I have used many white inks before. This one is my favorite by far. I love it more than the White Stays On. I love it more than the um, Antiquities White. I love this more than the Momento Chalk White ink that I have. I also have the other one. I just love it. It's my favorite. And I have tried quite a few of them definitely definitely my favorite so happy that i um purchased that and i wasn't i had this is the only one from long form 
that I actually have. I might just pick up a few other ones now. <coughs> Excuse me again. Now for this order, I was really catching up on a few of the um, sets that I wanted in the past, but I just never ever took the time to purchase. This is this is one of them. Um, when I realized that they now have the dies for them, that's when I wanted them even more. Now, I have a thing for turtles. Yes, and Sharon, who is Soro Leel one here on YouTube, and she's one of my dearest, dearest, and um, sweetest friends, and one of the longest friends I have here on YouTube. Um, she has sent me a turtle stamp a while back, and every time I look at my little turtles now, not only do I love them, but I think of her and how sweet she was when she sent I was so happy with that stamp and I still love it and I realized I have to make more cards with my turtles I have yet to make cards with turtles and I love I don't know why but I just love the cute little turtles that Lawn Fawn has so I picked up more for the turtle than the actual happy birthday but I'm also trying to um builds up a collection of birthday stamps, especially um, sentiments and words, because I hardly have any. Um, so I picked that up with the die. And again, uh, the birthday stamps. I love the fact that both of them have the little party hat, and I can use that with um, a few of the other little birdies and critters on other birthday cards. Um, this one is actually smaller than that one. And I can't believe, do you see how tiny that die is? I don't know how I'm going to cut that out. It's going to have to be on a good day. But also, I love the little hippo. I actually um, don't have a lot of, I don't know why, but I don't make a lot of cards with critters. And that's something this year I plan to change. I am in the little cutesy stage right now. I was um on a really big Tilda Magnolia um, doing character cards. And I still am and the scene cards. But I really like the little critters. I'm like loving the little and hence, you know, look, uh, more more critters. Um, love these little hedgehogs. I just realized that this is a girl and a boy. <laughs> I don't know why. Didn't realize that before. But anywho, I do love these guys, and they also come with um, the dye. It's now available with the die as well. So I am loving these um, three little sets. And I really do love Lawn Fawn, guys. I, I think they have to be my favorite stamp company out there. Um, besides the Tilda Magnolias. And then this, I actually saw a card on YouTube. And I saw one of the girls that was making the cards. Now, I only stopped and looked at it because of the bow. I don't, I'm not even subscribed to the person I was watching. So I don't even know what kind of card it was or the name of the person. I just saw that they were using this. So I Googled it and, um, I'm not even sure if this is like an old or a new, um, die from delights. I will say this, there weren't a lot of images to see. So I'm thinking this might be fairly new. But it's called Party Bow. That's what it looks like. And yes, I couldn't wait to open it last night. I just like had to dig my hands into this. And I always like if I'm gonna share um if I'm gonna share my hauls with you, I either like to give you an example, cut them out for you, or try to catch the hole and load it so that you can still get the sale prices. I just don't see the point in sharing the holes with you if it's not to share everything with you <laughs> because I find for myself that sometimes I'll be on the fence about getting a die until I see how it cuts out and I see how large it may be and that will really close the deal either to buy or not to buy. And so I'm thinking you're probably like that as well. So I cut it out just so you can see what it looks like. I love it. It is so stinking pretty. And as you see here by the example on the card, I love the fact 
And this is what I love the most about it, that it can be used several different ways. You can layer it so that it can go across this way and it can go all the way around the GIF. You can do multi layers and make it dimensional where you have um, two sets of these bows. It could also look like a little flower. Um, I mean, a butterfly. I could so make that into a butterfly. Anyways, <laughs> I just I just realized that. Um, or you can just put it the way it was meant to be, which is like this. And I'm sure um, there's other ways that you can do this. You can probably incorporate this with two different um, bow sets. For instance, I have a diamond dies bow die that if I didn't want these tails, I can use the tails from my other die. I can tell already that I can use the tails from the other die and um, add it to this. Or just add this on top of the other bow and make it dimensional, use two different bows. I'm not sure. That's what I love the most about dies is that you can constantly play with them, manipulate them, and use them however you want. So, yep, I wanted that, so I picked that up. This is the best thing I bought in this haul. I am so stinking in love with these. And Rosa V, I hope you're watching this, um, because I was mentioning these to her, and I told her I would be making a video about these. These are called the Double Pierce Rectangle Dice. Now, I have never seen these. These are by Avery L. However, I see the copyright is 2013, so they might have been around for quite some time. I don't know. <coughs> um, I just discovered them on YouTube. I saw... Um, was it on Simon Says Stamp? I think it might have been Nicole on Simon Says Stamp. I'm pretty sure it was on Simon Says Stamp. It was either that or the Avery L YouTube channel where they purchased these dies and used them. And I fell in love. And this is, I wanted to share with you again how they cut out. Now, I didn't do the smallest, smallest ones. I just took them apart last night. I just did these four. Let me share with you what I love so much about these. Look, if you stack these all up together, this is how they will cut out. Um, but this is what I love the most about them. And I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera. Do you see, um, let me get my pokey stick. Okay, this is the in, the inner part one. Now, I remember, I didn't use the other little tiny one that's an even smaller one that goes with this set. But because I left this single layered, it has just the piercings on the one side. But if you look at these two sets here, you will see that I have stitching on this side or the piercing the holes. I have them on this side and on this side. And with this frame, I also have it on this side and on this side, which means you get double the piercings. Not only that, when you do cut it out this way, and I want to share with you another example of what I did. I took a piece of cardstock and I cut it out to four and a quarter by, um, five and a half, which is your basic A2 size. I'm trying to see if I have one already cut out that I can share with you that isn't the other way. And you'll understand what I'm saying in a second. Oh, yes, here it is. I cut out so much. I'm just over here prepping for... Okay, so this is one that I used... Um, and I'm going to share with you what the difference is. I just took a piece of cardstock. I cut it out uh, five and a half by four and a quarter. <clears throat> and I took the second to the largest one and I just centered it. And then I cut it out. And this is what I have. Now, this is the difference between when you layer it and when you don't. You see how you have that double piercing here? You don't. And there's a reason for that. This one, as you can see, is a lot thicker going all the way around, but I can also layer it 
like that. Okay, but that's not, that's not the exciting part. When I did this like this, I realized that this is a perfect frame here for some shaker cards. And how cool is it that this, as long as I center it pretty well, this will cut out the square, uh, the rectangle rather perfectly for me. And I don't have to go out there and buy something that's just made for shaker cards because this is perfect. So perfect that I had to make a shaker card just to share with you guys. And so that you can see, I made this last night. I was so excited by this die that I was like, ah, now thank goodness, like I was sharing with you in a previous video, I did a lot of prep work already and I'm going to share this in another video, but I just wanted to share with you, you see how I did the, the frame. This is what that is right there. Just like that. And it just made, now I have made other shaker cards. This made making the shaker card super fast. One, two, three. Like for me, it was a breeze. Now I no fussing, no mussing. It was just super cool, super easy, super fast. And I also picked up on eBay. And this I picked up a few weeks ago. Um, this little EK success tool. I have the little pouchy one, but this brush tip is definitely the best for getting in the corners um, to stop the little um, sequence from sticking. Now, some of them still did stick like that one up there. <laughs> But uh, for the most part, I am loving this. I am so loving this. I, I'm on a um, shake a card frenzy now. <laughs> and I was telling Rosa this on um, Facebook that I am just going to sit here today and I'm going to try to make as many shake a cards as I can. Or I was, that was my intentions before my ATG ran out and I, Okay, you see, I actually glued this down on the acetate. I wouldn't be able to do that with wet glue. Um, so, yeah. So, anyways, I wanted to share that with you. If um, there was any of my nesting dies besides my, um, like, my circle dies and my labels one, I love those dies. Um, I do not own any of the pierced um, nesting sets. Um, however, I am really, really happy with this one. If there was ever a nesting pierced set that I would want to pick up, it would be the double pierced one. I love that effect. I can't wait. When I get off with you guys, I am going to start prepping for some cards. As you can see, I already started prepping by cutting out quite a few of those um, uh, pierced. I'm just going to make some cards. Um, I mentioned this on a previous video. Some, A lot of these cards you may never see because a lot of them are for my mom so that she can um, give to some friends of hers and family members. It's just me making cards and then donating them. Um, and I will be doing that for a lot of my family members um, who wants them. I'm not, I'm certainly not offering them or pushing them, <laughs> but if they are card challenged and I do get great joy for making some cards right now and I'm able to make them and they want some, I don't see why not. And I never felt that way before, but now I do. So yeah. And again, I am sorry for all the chatter. I just, you know what? I'm going to say like, Vicky, I just wanted a visit with you guys. Um, so I also picked up this damn set uh, by Lawn Fawn. And I really, really wanted something with a background of um, stars and snow. I just love the whole... Um, spotted and starry background. I think it would be perfect also maybe for a fairy layout or um, some mixed media, which I'm going to start trying to get into. 
um, for January 2016. I said that last year and I still didn't play with mixed media as much as I really wanted to, but I'm going to try um, for the following. So I'm kind of buying things that I know I can get multiple different uses out of them and also planning for a head. Um, I really, really like this, this border stamp set. And it also came with the um, little quotes, all is calm, all is bright, which I love. And let us know, which I love, and peace and joy, which I love. Um, I already used the all is calm and all is bright and the background last night. <coughs> I'm telling you, this time I couldn't wait to do the whole video, uh, share, and then create. I went straight back fuck wild crazy <laughs> and I opened up everything the only thing I didn't open up I think was the little ones these and the little Christmas ornament and everything else I just tore into um especially this one once I realized that I ran out of ATG tape I decided to stay up and create some tags um and I was so busy I was saying hmm if I can make cards um, because I'm upset that I don't have ATG. Not that I couldn't. I really could have, to be honest, I could have sat here and tried to make something with the, um, with the wet glue and my hot gun, my hot glue gun and stuff like that. But I just didn't feel like it. I wanted to make the shaker cards and I was like pissed at myself because I was like, I can't believe that I ran out of tape. When have I? I ever in the history of <laughs> scrapbooking have I ran out of ATG tape. Um, so I guess there's a first time for everything. I'm trying to see where I put my little tags that I already made. I have, guys, when I tell you I have stuff all over. Oh, here they are. These were the ones that I was making last night. Um, again, if you are on the fence about picking up some of these stamp sets um, or if you ne maybe never seen these before that's why I do these little things and I try I don't always have the chance to like um, create something and then share it but this time I did I was having a lot of fun um, see I made that one and I also have the die set, but the die set is downstairs right now. I was busy cutting out lots of dies and I forgot to bring up the die set with the stamps. I do apologize for that. Um, I was so busy last night. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And I brought my die machine uh, downstairs um, so that I can do it while I was watching TV. Oh, and here's another one that I made using that Delacala Gold um, Pigment Ink. Love that stuff. Love it. And here I am making some simple tags. Now I'm going to go in and fill them up with little characters that I am coloring in um, of lawn fawns. Um, and some of these, I'm thinking of putting those diamond dies as a matter of fact, where is it? I have some cut out here. I was thinking of using these diamond dye deers and putting, like for my dad, he doesn't really do a lot of fussy cutting, but look. And I put a little, I can either um, color this in with ink or I can put just a little strip of paper back there of a background. Or I could just leave it like this. My dad would so be happy with something like this. Um, not much, too much of a fuss for him. Or I can just put it like that and create a different one, another one. Make a little scene and then on the other side have two in love. That's what I love about these tags. Um, the size is perfect. And I also started working on some of my other tags using my other tag die. Um, and this is my diamond dies, uh, 
nesting set, which I love. It's my favorite tag dye of all the tag dyes that I own. My diamond dyes, um, tag dyes are my favorite. And as you can see, the two in the front fits perfectly on the tiny one. See, I still have it on my little block because I was still making some this morning. I'm telling you, I was working last night and this morning. I just left everything spread out all over my desk. It was, I was bad. I was very bad. And so, and now I have all the little pieces all over my desk as well that I was cutting out. So yeah, guys. And Oh, this is also from the stamp set. And fussing cutting that was so much fun. And that's that little holly set right there. Love, love, love these two stamp sets from Lawn Fawn. So that's one of my hauls that um, I'm waiting actually on two other ones to share. And that would be it. And hopefully now that I placed the order for the tape, I just paid for it right before I got on YouTube. Um, right before I got off Facebook. Hopefully I will get that very soon. So I hope you guys had a really wonderful Thanksgiving. I have not had the chance to just make a video of sharing some goodies and just chit chatting. Um, I know there's a lot of giveaways and challenges going on right now on so many of my friends channels. I just want to, um, ask everyone's forgiveness. Now I will not be participating in any challenges, um, or anything like that this month only because um, I'm still having days where I'm good, but then I'm still having days where I'm totally bad. My health is a little bit unpredictable right now. Um, and it's near the holidays and I have so much of my own personal stuff that I need to get through that I don't want to push myself any harder than I need to. <coughs> and <coughs> I'm also blessed and lucky enough to be a DT member for such a wonderful, wonderful group of people. Um, especially D she's, uh, just so understanding, um, especially with my health. Um, I got a lot of dyes from her in the fall and I wasn't able to play with them as much as I wanted to, or to create as much as I wanted to. So I don't want to, you know, I want to try to make up for that with the Christmas Size that she already sent to me. And I didn't even know if I would be well enough to even come back and be able to do anything. And she said, I don't care. I'm sending them to you. You know, you get better and you uh, do what you can. And for that, I am ever so grateful. Um, also to Rebecca, um, who is, uh, I am mama's treasure. Um, that I also was designing for as a guest designer, she had sent me a package and I did, wasn't able to make anything at all. And I did email her and I told her that I would make it up to her and I'm going to just promote her store and those items that she had sent that I was not able to use for the month of January. I won't do it for the month of December. Cause like I said, it's just a little too much for me right now, even though, um, you might see 10, 12 projects come out of me, but they could all be from one day <laughs> or two days. And this is a marathon that when I'm feeling really well, um, that's the problem. I feel so well that then I can't sleep. And so I try to catch up on everything, including house chores. Um, yeah. So I might, you might see me like really crazy busy for about five or six days and then boom, it hits me and I'm out for two weeks and then I'll be crazy busy for four or five days, which is why I have a lot of pre-recorded um, projects and videos. Um, a lot of people don't know that. They might be new to my channel and that's why I'm explaining it again. Um, I try really, really, really hard to be as up to date as I possibly can on a daily basis, but there are times 
where I created something um, two months ago, a month ago, and I'm sharing it this week. Uh, so, and that makes it hard sometimes because sometimes I forget what I used. <laughs> and if I don't do the video right there and then, I, and I try to do it a month later, um, yeah, you can tell um, that I'm a loss for words sometimes. And also, believe it or not, I still get really nervous making videos. I don't know why after all this time I do. Um, but yeah. So that being said, I just wanted to send lots of hugs to all my friends again. Thanking those amazing ladies on Facebook for helping me get my ATG tape. I'm so excited. I don't have to wait two weeks. Yay, yay, yay. Um, I'm also excited about these new toys that I have to play with, um, from Scrapbook Pal. I am really loving this. I'm going to have so much fun. Oh, I did forget one other die that I bought. Oh my goodness. I just had it. I'm, I think I might have to share that in my next video. If I don't have it here. I thought I did. My daughter, um, when I was opening, well, she she actually opens my box for me. She gets a kick out of opening it, and I let her. Um, she opened it. She fell in love with it, and I think she might have put it somewhere different. I told her to keep everything. Oh no, she didn't. I'm so sorry. I did ask her to keep everything together for me. Um, I forgot about this one because she actually put it <laughs> um, off to the side here. This was the other one uh, that I forgot to share with you guys. And this is called the mushrooms. And the reason this one um, was put to the side was um, the customer service over at scrapbookpile.com, guys. I can't tell you. Um, I had an issue with one of these uh, spellbinder dies that I have purchased and he took care of it for me. I forgot his first name right now. Uh, it wasn't Scott. Oh my gosh. Anyways, he took care of my issue one, two, three, um, sent it out super fast. And cause this was with a previous order and it came with this stuff the same time that this stuff did. And I am so in love with this die set. Can't wait to make something with this. I, you know how I am about my fairies. And um, I think this is going to go really well with a lot of my um, outdoor scenes that I love to do. So, yeah, I forgot about this one because little Miss Alicia had her little pitties on that one. Um, also, I wanted to just say one more thing. And it was thank you to Rosa for sending me this snow marker. I am going to make a lot of cards using this. I played with it last night. Oh my gosh, where has this been all my life? <laughs> I am having so much fun with that. And I'm going to uh, share the cards with you in some upcoming videos. I took enough of everyone's time. Oh my gosh, this is like the longest video ever. But that's okay because I haven't... I haven't had a visit in a long time. I haven't had a, a whole video in a long time. And I didn't just chit chat and share with you a haul. I also shared with you some projects I was working on. So it's okay. It's all good. Um, we'll chat soon. And I hope you all have a very blessed day. Thank you for stopping by. And I am going to go cut out some more stuff for some shaker cards. Um, talk to you soon. Bye for now.